It is time for me to destroy the beard. How long have I been growing this for? Uh, I, uh, I don't know, maybe a year and a half? A year and a half of beard growth. Okay. Uh, Are you nervous? Yeah. <gasps> what? It goes back. There it goes. <laughs> I'm not going to tidy that up now. <laughs> what do I do with this now? I want to keep it in a locket. Don't be alarmed by my new streamlined appearance. It will grow back. The hobo novelist will return in time. But for now, beard has been chopped off, hair has been shortened, and now we have this. Um, this is going to be a very quick video. Uh, I know I said that I would be releasing every Wednesday, and, and last time it was Tuesday, and today it's Friday. But um, I figured there was no point in just releasing weekly videos just for the sake of it. I'll just make videos that will hopefully be more or less weekly uh, when I feel like I have something to say. When you're writing a novel, you tend to do a lot of research and sometimes you discover surprising and unusual things. I discovered something in researching ostriches, which uh, I've been researching a lot. Even though they play an insignificant role in the story that I'm writing, uh, I find myself keep needing to look things up. And what I've discovered feels like a bit of a Mandela effect, because I'm fairly certain that they never used to be this way. Um, if you don't know what a Mandela effect is, it's uh, some people remember Nelson Mandela dying in the 80s. And they remember his funeral, and of course he didn't. He was still alive for much longer than that. And uh, people remember the uh, like Looney Looney Tunes being called Looney Tunes, and uh, people remember uh, Darth Vader saying. Look, I am your father, when he actually said, no, I am your father, and, um, oh yeah, things like that. You know what it is, I'm sure, there was a film about it. Um, so, ostriches, here's what I want you to do. I want you to, I'm going to ask you a question, and I want you to reply out loud to the screen. Um, what does an ostrich's foot look like. I need to know this. Uh, well, I, I, I wrote a scene in my story where uh, the protagonist comes across some ostrich footprints and I described it. Um, and for some reason I thought I would just Google ostrich's foot to get a better look at it just to, just to make sure my description was correct. And I was surprised by what I found. So, right now, tell me. What does an ostrich's foot look like? Mm -hmm. Now, if like me, you answered when it has sort of like three toes with a claw at the end of each one, and maybe even one at the back, you know, like a three pronged foot, like a dinosaur's foot, uh, that's what I thought they looked like. Um, if you said they've got one huge toe, with a claw at the end, and then a tiny clawless thumb at the side, then you were correct. They are two-toed creatures. Here is a picture of one. That's not what is it? What is that? That doesn't look like what I think of as an ostrich's foot. But this is great for me because it adds more mystery to the book for, I think, maybe, maybe you're all listening to me going, of course that's what an ostrich's foot looks like, idiot. But hopefully there's enough readers who, like me, thought that they had the free. And so when this comes up, it'll be even more of a mystery. Um, I'm giving away the mystery in making this video, but luckily only about 50-odd people watch these videos. Uh, so... Well, yeah, so this is... And, you know, the, 
their legs bend backwards, don't they? They sort of run like this. And I thought this part was the knee. But actually, this part here is the ankle, and this is its toe joint. And its knee is up here, hidden behind the feathers. And I'll find a skeleton image to put up so that you can see. And I just think that's very weird. Um, so that's all I came here to say, is to let you know that ostrich's feet are weird. And that is something as a novelist uh, that you, if you are wanting to become a novelist, then maybe you will also discover that ostriches have weird feet. Um, whilst we're here, I might as well show you what an owl's skeleton looks like. That's what an owl's skeleton looks like. Next time, I think I might uh, recommend something that, as an author or a reader, you might find incredibly useful. I will say that that is BXP as a clue, and I will leave it there come here next time subscribe ring the notification bell uh, and when that video comes out next week hopefully on Wednesday you will find out what VXP stands for and why you need to know about it and that's all from me toodaloo this has been all for tube with Andrew Chapman